Hello everyone. Today my colleague Bastian and I will discuss three typical mistakes that might happen when drafting software patent applications. Bastian, from your point of view, what are the three most common mistakes that might happen? Well, firstly, I would say the most fundamental thing that can go wrong is that the patent application explains only the business-related aspects of the invention and takes the technical aspects more or less as a given. That's a problem. Secondly, oftentimes the claim wording is not optimal, especially in view of the intangible nature of software. And thirdly, I still regularly see software patents that don't take into account the distributed nature of software. So let's talk about the first point you mentioned, the technical character. Why is it so important to emphasize it in the description of a European patent application? Well, many patent applications we file in Europe originate from somewhere else, from another jurisdiction, for example, the US. And sometimes you can see in the application that it was drafted only with the home jurisdiction in mind. But of course, every patent system in the world has its special requirements. Mm -hmm. In Europe, for example, patenting software is all about the technical contribution. So there has to be a technical problem. This technical problem has to be well defined and explained in the application together with the technical aspects that make up the solution then. So when you want to claim a computer program, you have to make sure that it has a technical effect. Thank you for these helpful comments. This brings us to the second point you mentioned at the beginning, the claim wording itself. Exactly. So many European software patents have claims directed to a non-transitory computer readable medium. So what could go wrong there? I agree. I also regularly see such claim wordings. However, in Europe, a medium does not have to be present in the claim wording. According to the European rules, it is sufficient if you claim a computer program that comprises instructions, which causes a computer to execute a specific method. If specific means are required, other than a normal computer processor, then these means have to be mentioned in the claim language. I see. So what would be a concrete preferred wording for such a computer program claim then? Well, I think good examples are provided by the EPO's guidelines of examination. A revised edition is in force since March 2021. In section F, Roman numeral 4, item 3.9, you'll find a lot of examples that teach you how to formulate your computer program claim to achieve the maximum scope of protection. And this brings us to the last point you mentioned at the beginning, the infringement situation. Exactly. And this is, in fact, oftentimes overlooked. So let me make a simple example. Let's think of a computer which performs a novel compression algorithm mm -hmm. on a data packet. The compressed data is then transmitted over a network to another computer, the recipient. And the recipient then performs the complementary unpacking of the data. Mm -hmm. So that's a typical distributed invention. Think of, for example, a client and a server, or a base station and a smartphone. However, in software patents, I regularly still see only one independent claim that covers the whole system with its components and the interactions. While in reality, each of the components, the smartphone and the base station, for example, are operated by different legal entities, which in result then means that none of the entities infringes the claim. So what is really important is that every computer science patent attorney has to keep in mind that these divided infringement cases, there has to be one independent claim per interacting entity. I see. So it's important to keep in mind the infringement situation. Otherwise, it might become difficult to later on sue a potential infringer. Thank you for your attention. If you want to learn more about software patents in Europe, visit europeansoftwarepatents.com. It's a blog driven by my colleague Bastian and me and some other colleagues, which by now includes a huge number of decisions of the technical boards of appeal of the EPO dealing with the technical character of computer implemented inventions. Mm -hmm.